G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie and Liz here again. Today we're going to try out a little place called the Cheesesteak Factory. It's not a franchise or anything like that, we're just going there because we, we've seen the pictures on the, their website and they've got some humongous burgers and I think Liz knows a little bit more about it than me so... I don't know a lot but I looked at it a while ago and because I really like sweet potato and I noticed they either had sweet potato chips or wedges and that really got me interested. Um, so I'm just here for the chips, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here for more than that. I'm going to get see how the, if these look, things look as good as they do in the picture. And I'm going to get, I've decided, a chicken, bacon and ranch burger. And I'm going to get a Kransky hot dog. It's actually called the factory. So, mm -hmm. guys, we're going to run in there and get it. And then we'll get back to you and show you this amazing food. <laughs> we hope. We hope, yeah. So here we are guys, we got our food, so what did you get Liz? I got uh, large sweet potato fries and two sweet potato scallops because I love sweet potato and there really, there wasn't anything else on the menu uh, for a vegan diet. So you were saying what was it, a vegan diet? Yeah, well there's not really anything at the cheesesteak factory for vegetarians or vegans other than regular fries or sweet potato fries and, and I knew that, but I love sweet potato. Bonus was I had sweet potato scallops and you don't always find those, um, which I, I love those. So I'm excited to have a big feed of sweet potato fries and scallops. I'm just wondering could they have put it in a smaller bag because I can't get the shit Oh, out this of was it. yours. Yeah, hang on, baby. I'm thinking of time. I had a feeling that was yours because it feels like chips. That smells very cheesy. So that is my Kronsky hot dog. I'll show you in a sec, guys. Look, your other look how orange too. my fries look. Oh, I know. They look very yeah. orange and very soggy. I love soggy chips. I do not like crispy chips. I love soggy. So guys, that's my Kransky hot dog. Looks pretty good. Plenty of mustard and I forget what else they said. They put our pickle, pickle um, sauce. So I forget what exactly what it was called. This must be the scallop. They must be very tiny. <laughs> They are a little bit tiny. They don't look like normal sweet potato scallops, but we'll give them a go. I've got to say, guys, it was a little bit expensive. I thought, looking at the pictures, the burgers were going to be like huge. Yeah, I did too. And all this is just a cheeseburger, which is probably a little bit bigger than a McDonald's one, but the problem with this was, it took me bloody $9. <laughs> so that's the burger. Should be a little bit closer. That's the burger there. What's it got in it? So it's cheese, tomato sauce, onion. I suppose it's got a little bit more than a normal cheeseburger, but it's pretty good. You can't expect too much from people who aren't McDonald's and all the rest of it because they're going to make a living, I suppose. So anyway, guys, this is our cheeseburger. I'm pretty hungry at the moment. I'm going to give this a go, see what it's like. I almost lost my hot dog then. It's a Kransky hot dog, the other one, so that should be good. Like we said, cheesecake factory. Cheesecake factory. Cheesecake, sorry. Not cake. And we have a place here called Cheesecake Cake Factory, and, or cake, Cheesecake Shop, and I keep thinking it's that. Yeah, there's a restaurant in America called the Cheesecake Factory. So, Cheese Steak Factory. There you go. And this is the factory cheeseburger, after their name, and the other one is the factory Kransky. Oh, it's a Kransky hot dog, but it's called the factory hot dog or something like that. And I also got this, AW Root Beer. Mm. 
you know, because that's not standard. You can't get that everywhere like Coke and Pepsi, A&W. Mm -hmm. And I've never tried it before. It's root beer. And um, guys, if you've gotten this far into the video, let us know in the comments if you've tried A&W root beer and what you thought about it. And I'll let you know later on what I think. Actually, I should open it now and give it a go. So this isn't like really a review or anything. We just thought you'd like to see some of the other things besides KFC and McDonald's and all that sort of thing. So I guess it's like a bit of a mukbang. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I like that drink. Actually saying that now, I think years ago when I was a kid, I have tried something like that, mm. but not that brand. I, I, that, it might be sarsaparilla, that's what it yeah, tastes sars, like. Yeah, I love sars. When I was a kid, or a Similar. Young, young boy, which is many, many years ago, as you know from my last video, <laughs> my age. Well, not that long ago. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> sarsaparilla, that's what it tastes like. I remember that taste, that smell in as well. Mm. I love sars. Sweet potato chips are very nice and really soggy, how I like them. Mm. Would you like to try one? I actually pinched one on you, off you before. I'll try it and I'll do it to you. So nice, but I'm going to be flat out getting through all this, I think. But maybe not, because like I said, I actually thought that was going to be like twice the size. Maybe if I had bought a different burger, like cheeseburger, there's not much on it, I suppose. But... I may try another one at the time. The one I'm keen on is this. Now, believe it or not, guys, I was looking at the menu as we were just before we drove down because you could Google it and I'll just put half the sauce everywhere now because it's tipped over. And I've actually been thinking I wouldn't mind a Kransky hot dog. Now you've got even, one. Well, I was even thinking maybe I could make one. But, man, I may still do that one day because, you know, sometimes I do make some things. I gotta tell you though, that doesn't look to me or feel to me like a hot dog roll. It's just a bread roll from the local supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> it is warm, so that's good. Warm roll. And I've got, like I said, some mustard, some pickle, some sort of pickle sauce, I don't know what it is. And there's some onion on there, so at least it's got a, a bit of stuff on it that's pretty good. Nice. It's okay. It's okay. Probably wouldn't do it again. Or maybe do it with different sauce, but the Kranksky's nice. I like that. Yeah. Actually, I think for me, if I had it just went with Kransky and just tomato sauce and mustard, probably the pickle pickle sauce wasn't that good of an idea, but it's okay. It's not disgusting or anything. So guys, I'm not sure if I'm gonna well I know you probably eat all that. Oh you haven't tried your I haven't tried them yet. Potato. Oh I better try one. You can use your fingers for that, you know. Oh That's I know, right. but it's up to you. You're very ladylike today. It's very good. <laughs> mm. So that's a what, potato scallop? Yeah, sweet potato scallop. Oh, sweet potato. I wonder, because I can mm -hmm. see the colour through it. See, it's orange. I remember now you said that. Because mm. in Australia, guys, I don't know what you have in other countries, but we have a lot of potato scallops in fish and chip shops and takeaway shops. And I've never seen a sweet potato scallop before. But I have, but they're hard to get. So if I ever see them, I always get them. Mm. Yeah, and they're right. very nice. Yeah, very nice. So that's good. So guys, just thought you'd like to see a little bit of variety in our channel instead of just Maccas and Hungry Jacks and all that sort of thing. Not a bad little meal, probably didn't cost any more than, like it was, wasn't cheap, but it didn't probably cost any more than most places you go to to get this amount of food. So guys, hope you like the video and remember, never be too Aussie. Hooroo. Hooroo.